Hi everyone, this is Brandon here and we are on to our next episode, episode 5 of our Sherbert Challenge. So currently we have 210 housing space available to play with. So the first one was given by Ruben. Ruben asked me to use 1 Golem, 1 Pekka, 2 Healers, 2 Witches, 2 Valkyries, 4 Hawk Riders, 4 Loons, 30 Archers, 7 Bubs, 5 Warbreakers, 1 Heal Spell and 1 Rage Spell. However, with this army combo, I will be able to use only 1 Spell and also no Heroes. So just to shout out to his clan, Trickshot Nation. Uh, if you guys want to go and check out his clan and maybe perhaps uh, go and join his clan, go ahead and check it out. So yeah, going ahead with the attack currently. And as for you guys, the, those of you who actually asked me to um, use a certain army combo and I didn't uh, re uh, look into it and also didn't accept it, was uh, due to the fact that sometimes the army, the combo, the amount and uh, the number of troops didn't uh, tally to 210 of, or whatever housing spaces that was for that particular uh, episode alone. Uh, other than that, also uh, I usually choose around 5 attacks, 5 army combos to use. So if yours isn't chosen, that might be also the second reason, which is because uh, I've already chosen 5 and I can't feature that uh, as part of my episode again. So nevertheless, I just keep requesting for, uh, after this video is posted and then eventually I might um, use yours in the next uh, episode alone. And also for those of you who actually request like 2 or 3 times, especially there was actually one person who asked me to use his army combo again. Although I featured him in one of the video, he did say that uh, I should use his v uh, army combo again because it's a different army combo and it's never been used before. Yes, it's never been used before. However, I would like to allow other people to have the chance to be part of the channel and uh, part of the video alone. So yeah, giving other people opportunity to be part of it. So the next challenge was submitted by Teo Chun Ming who asked me to use 6 Warbreakers, 1 Golem, 1 Lava Hound, 2 Valkyries, 5 Giants, 1 Pekka, 5 Wizards, 1 Dragon, 4 Balloons, 1 Witch, no Hero CC to be any, 2 Rage, 2 Freeze and 1 Heal. However, according to the troops that I'm actually bringing, I only can use 1 spell and of course no Heroes. So uh, for those of you who actually forgot how the rule is actually set, I'd like to mention again that if I'm using a troop that has 20 housing spaces or more, I'll have to minus 1 spell and minus 1 hero from my usage. And if I'm using a troop that has 12 housing space and above, however, if like for example I'm using only 1 witch, I won't have to minus a spell, but if I'm using 2 witches, I have to minus 1 spell. If I'm using like 2 healers, I have to minus 1 spell. And if I'm using, say, a dragon, a Pekka, or a golem, or a lava hound, yes, I have to minus one spell with that too. So yeah, if you guys are still confused about the whole entire um, rule alone, I will put everything all in the description once more so that you guys can go ahead and take a look. And then eventually choosing the right army combo for me, as I'm still been receiving an uh, army combo such as all healers, all goblins, etc. from you guys which uh, totally doesn't make sense uh, according to the rule and in fact I've also seen like asking me to use 3 golems or 2 golems which uh, exceeds the 30 slot per troop type uh, amount so yeah the next one was submitted by blue creeper he asked me to use 1 lava hound, 1 golem, 1 dragon, 2 witches, 15 minions, 7 wizards 6 Hawk Riders, 9 War Breakers, and CC to be using Pekka and Archers. So this was a rather fun uh, CC to use because I really like to have a Pekka in my clan castle. That's uh, something I really use uh, a lot last time when I was still playing uh, Go We Wipe. So even up to now on my uh, sub account, my second account, I actually still use uh, to play Go We Wipe. And in my CC, I usually give myself a level 5 Pekka with 2 Wizards and also 2 Archers. So with just this uh, CC alone, a backup and a uh, 15 Arches is pretty fun to use, especially uh, the Pekka alone is pretty strong already. So uh, for this uh, particular army combo, I'm actually allowed to use a uh, 1 spell because I'm bringing only 1 Lava Hound, 1 Golem, 1 Dragon and 2 Witches, so minus 4 spells usage. And of course, I won't be able to use any heroes because I'm using a Lava Hound and a Golem and also a Dragon. So technically it's minus 3 heroes, but of course there are only 2 heroes to minus from uh, my army itself. So yeah, this was a pretty fun raid. And uh, I've also been trying uh, to attack from different angles, deploying my troops in a different manner and a different timing too. If you guys have also watched the first few episodes of how I actually attack this uh, particular challenge alone, it was uh, pretty tough until I learned uh, how to attack it in a more optimal manner. So yeah, the next one was submitted by M.O. Nero COC who asked me to use 30 archers, 30 barbarians, 7 wizards, 1 witch, 1 dragon, 1 golem, 1 pekka, 
12 wall breakers, 3 goblins, 1 valkyrie and CC to have 1 lava hound and 1 balloon. So yeah, this was also another fun army combo to use uh, because I like to have uh, 7 wizards with me as it allows me to spread out my wizards to use them in a more efficient manner. Having the wizard in the CC, right, it makes a difference because the CC will actually not allow the wizards to be spread out. All of the wizards will all be clumped up and if a Mota or the wizard tower were to just hit them, they will all be hit all together. So there was one suggestion uh, given by one of uh, you guys saying that I should use 235 housing spaces in my army camp and not use my clan castle at all so that I don't have to request for clan castle in my next 200 slots uh, army combo so as not to uh, get a CC troop from my clan mates as to uh, cause them any trouble. However, um, dropping your troops from your army camp and also drop it, deploying your troops from the clan castle, it may, really makes a diff. So for example, if we were to look at uh, 35 archers to use, uh, having them in the clan castle, all of them will have to come out all at one particular spot. And then eventually, if the they go against a wizard tower, the wizard tower will definitely take them all out. However, if you were to use them in your army camp, you will be able to spread them out in such a manner whereby the archers won't be able to all get taken out by the wizard tower. You can spread them out in such a way whereby the wizard tower won't be able to take them out all at once and eventually they might even uh, take the wizard tower down rather than using the clan castle which I don't really like to use the clan castle other than using it for a bigger troop such as the lava hound, a golem or even a pekka. That's when uh, it doesn't really make much of a diff other than uh, the small little miscellaneous troops such as the wizards but that uh, also doesn't uh, make much of a diff. And now we are on to our last challenge which was submitted by Dominic. He asked me to use 6 giants, 6 war breakers, 30 barbarians, 30 archers, 10 minions, 3 wizards, 2 valkyries, 6 hawk riders, 1 lava hound. Spells to be using 2 heal, 1 rage, 1 freeze and also to be able to use my king. And CC will be my choice. So this I would say is a rather easy uh, army combo to use because uh, being able to use 4 spells and also my king makes it totally uh, really easily. However, the troops that I was giving, given were all tier 1 troops, so that's something to take note of too. And also, I mentioned in the beginning of the video that I did not use any gems for this particular episode alone. So as you can see, my gems is at 22,182 gems. At the start of the video, it was like around uh, 22,178 or whatsoever. So it went up because I uh, managed to remove some obstacles and I got some gems out of it. And also, uh, I didn't uh, boost any of my stuff. Uh, basically, I just let the troops just cook out. So this is the only time when I actually didn't use any gems. I was spending a lot of my time editing the videos on my the other series, my Let's Clash series. So for those of you who haven't uh, watched or checked out my Let's Clash series, whereby I started a new account, a Brandon Tree account, right from the start of Clash. You guys should go ahead and check that series out where I'll be farming my way to a Max Town Hall 9 and possibly even a Max Town Hall 10. So yeah, go ahead and check that uh, series out. I just started it like a few days ago. So for my next uh, challenge, I'll be having 200 slots in my episode 6. So do stay in the comments uh, what kind of troops you guys would like me to use. And also uh, do remember the rules that I set up, which is um, can't have more than 30 troops slots of a particular type of troop so for example i can't have like two golems or i can't have uh, two pekkas or even two dragons all those will be rejected and won't be uh, taken uh, looked at so yeah i just want to add that on so with that said i'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and hope you guys have enjoyed this series and of course as always clash on